Hi guys, I'm back with another video. I couldn't find my lighter today. I looked all over. I didn't want to disturb my husband. He's sleeping upstairs and he has to be up really early in the morning. So you guys are just going to have to look at an unlit candle. And I hope that's not too disturbing. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing, I think I have 12 fragrances that are refreshing scents. Like when you spray these, you're going to feel refreshed. They almost have like a cooling effect in my opinion. These are all pretty casual fragrances. There is a couple that I think are a little bit more dressed up, but most of them are just casual, easygoing, and fresh. So let's get started. So this is You or Someone Like You by Etat Lieb de Orange. I have no idea how to actually say that, but you guys can read that, right? This is like minty fresh. It doesn't smell like mint. You're not going to smell like spearmint or bubble gum, but there's something almost minty about it because of how refreshing it is. You know when you're chewing like a minty gum and you kind of feel this like cooling sensation? I feel like this is the fragrance equivalent of that. I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious about saying like because somebody pointed out that I say like a lot and they're not wrong, but our vocabulary and our speech has a lot to do with where we were born and raised. And I was raised in the Central Valley of California, so it's likely that I'm going to say the word like a lot. And it's not something that I'm fully aware of. It's almost like a filler word. I don't necessarily see YouTube as an extremely professional environment where I have to be my best. If I want to, I can be, but I can also be casual. I can also chill. I literally can do, I can do YouTube my way, you know? So, so I don't have to appease these random people who are overanalyzing and being critical of my content. But anyways, let's move on. Right at the opening, you almost get almost like a chiclets vibe, almost. And then it's gone and it's just a beautiful, almost a little bit creamy, freshy, easygoing, easy breezy, casual scent. This is a very casual perfume. I originally bought this because of Kathleen Lights. Actually, this was one of the first perfumes that I bought when I started to become perfume obsessed. It was all thanks to Kathleen Lights who talked about perfume TikTok. So I went and took a deep dive. That's how I started getting a little more obsessed with perfumes. And here we are now, many, many fragrances later. So next I have Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Intense. I'm sure you guys have seen this fragrance so many times. So this is a very, very refreshing scent. If you don't mind a little bit of that, like, Molecule One, Iso E Super, or Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. This kind of has the vibes of that. If that's not too strong for you, on some days it can be a little too strong for me, but some days I do enjoy it. This is extremely refreshing and almost cold. This is the regular light blue DNA mixed with a lot of that Molecule One type of thing. That Molecule One can almost give you a sense of like, almost like if they bottled the feeling of like cold stainless steel, I feel like that's almost what it would smell like. And this is also pretty casual, easygoing, and this is very unisex. So it's not a feminine girly perfume. This is very unisex. This would be a great one to add alongside any of the other perfumes or any other refreshing perfume. Next I have Max Turquatic. This is a creamy, fresh fragrance. This is just the fresh, inviting, creamy, aquatic scent. This is a perfect, easygoing, fresh casual fragrance. I think I've described this fragrance before as a casual fragrance and that's exactly what it is. This is a great fragrance to wear when you're just chilling, when you're just at home or you're out and about but you're not dressed up, you're not doing anything. I mean if you wanted to dress this up you definitely can and it's it's just a fresh beautiful scent. Next is A Girl in Capri by Lanvin. This is a citrusy fresh fragrance. This smells to me like lemon water, like lemon iced water. So something about this fragrance feels like drinking a glass of refreshing lemon iced water. It's not sweet, it's just the perfect refreshing crisp almost like lemony scent. This is the type of scent that I could see somebody wearing with like a white shirt, somebody dressed very casual, very relaxed. This is just a great easygoing, easy breezy, casual casual citrusy fragrance. So next I have DKNY's Be Delicious. What is this called? Fresh Blossom. This is a floral freshie with a little bit of apple I believe. So something about the apple and the freshness gives it a little bit of a tart refreshing vibe to it. The tartness just adds to the freshness. 
This is also an easygoing fragrance. I guess these are all like that. I'm kind of running out of adjectives here. Next is Versace's Versense. And this is also a beautiful, refreshing, almost like wearing your boyfriend's t-shirt kind of vibe. That smell of like wearing your your husband or your boyfriend's t-shirt. Like his white undershirt that smells masculine but not too strong. It kind of gives me that vibe. There's something a little bit sweet in there, but sweet in a, in a good way. It's just refreshing and easygoing as well. This is another white t-shirt and jeans kind of vibe. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm running out of adjectives. I don't know if I should just cancel the whole video and show you a picture. This could have been an email instead of a whole video. I could have just let you guys know. I could have just wrote this down, made a community tab and shared it. This definitely could have been an email instead of a whole meeting. Anyways, so this is another one, another refreshing, easygoing, perfect for summer perfume. Next is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This is the one that I said can be a little bit more dressed up. This is a fresh rose scent. So it's a little bit different than the other ones in that sense. A rose with a lot of green around it. That's what this is. It's refreshing. There's something so elegant about it while still being fresh and easygoing. This to me is a perfect fragrance for an eccentric person. It's unique but still approachable. This is a lovely, classy, fresh fragrance. Next I have Tangerine Squeeze. Squeeze. Next I have Tangerine Squeeze by Mix Bar. You can get this at Target. And I have to say this fragrance actually surprised me when I first smelled it. It seemed a little bit basic and unimpressive. After wearing it a few times, I've been really falling in love with it. There's something so easy going about this fragrance. This is such an easy reach right now in the summer and I also use... I've also been wearing this in my hair and just spraying it when I'm going to leave the house. This is probably one of the most casual tangerine scents. It's very pleasant. There isn't anything like intoxicating or delicious about it, but it feels refreshing and pleasant and that's why I've been really liking wearing this scent. This is Skylar's Citrus Grove. This is probably the citrusiest perfume I have on my list. The name Citrus Grove is literally perfect. It smells like you're walking into a citrus grove and op opening up one of those mandarins right there. This smells exactly like the peel when it's being opened off a citrusy fruit. Like you know how there's a little bit of oil in the, in the peel and you almost get that on your fingers? That's the scent that you get when you open this. It's so good. I actually got this from a subscription. Skylar has a subscription where you get one of these every month. I believe it's $10, but if you use code something like MY50, you get half off. So I got this for around $10. It's so perfect for this weather right now. I feel like this would be perfect to pair with any other citrusy fragrance. I like wearing roller balls only from natural brands as well. And I like using roller balls and using them with a different perfume. It's very refreshing to have this on my wrist and smell it throughout the day. So next I have Marc Jacobs Decadence, oh so decadent. This is so lovely. There's something about this that's refreshing and it almost smells like a perfumed river. Something about it smells like watery to me. And it almost smells like a beautiful woman around a body of water or maybe rain. Just something that has water. I relate this fragrance with water. I don't know if it's because I saw Rebecca Collazo make a video of a perfect fragrance for a rainy day and this was included. But ever since then, I feel like I pick up water in here and this smells like a beautiful perfumed river. That's what I get. This scent is very nostalgic to me. I feel like somebody wore it when I was younger. Somebody that I found pleasant and inviting. It is a little bit dressed up. It's not super casual, but it's still easygoing and refreshing. And lastly, I have Aura by Mugler. I have a hard time describing this fragrance. It smells green. It smells a little bit tea-like. It smells a little bit sweet as well. If I could paint a picture, what comes up in my mind when I smell this is something like taking a little walk on a trail, taking a little hike on a trail, and there's trees and there's twigs and there's leaves and twigs on the ground and you kind of step on them as you walk by them. And it's hot out, but the shade of the trees just kind of gives you like this breeze and it's fresh under the trees. 
that's the picture that's in my mind when I smell this because it's so green. It smells like being outdoors almost. This to me encapsulates that in a bottle. It encapsulates the greenness of the outdoors made into a perfume and it smells beautiful. It smells refreshing. It smells easygoing, but there isn't anything boring about this scent. This is a beautiful green fragrance, but it's not basic. It's not your everyday freshy. It's almost not a freshy. It's more green than it is fresh. And the color that they made this is absolutely perfect for this bottle. This is a green fragrance. Actually, I totally forgot one. This one cannot not be in here. This one has to be in here. This is Tommy Girl. It's a classic. It's beautiful. It's a very tart, crisp, refreshing fragrance. This is the OG of refreshing fragrances. This was the first extremely green, refreshing scent that I smelled. And ever since then, I've liked scents like this. This is what got me into freshies. This is a beautiful beautiful casual easygoing refreshing scent and it is almost tart like it's so green that it's tart it's so refreshing don't underestimate this fragrance just because it's from the 90s this is a beautiful summertime fragrance so there you have it guys these are all the fragrances that i think are perfect for the heat right now beautifully refreshing and cooling and would make you smell amazing right now in this weather thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time take care bye don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.